flight across America starts. It has your pilot contacts, Los Angeles Tower, ground controller, and request permission to taxi to the runway for departure. Next, the pilot is cleared for takeoff by Los Angeles Tower local controller and is airborne one minute later. Next, the tower controller tells the pilot to contact Southern California Approach Control Facility or TRACON. TRACON controller will tell the pilot to contact the first controller in the Los Angeles ARTCC or Air Route Traffic Control Center. At 23,000 feet, the pilot is then told to contact Los Angeles Center controller in the next sector and clears for the further climb. Next controllers in Los Angeles Center guide the aircraft safely through their airspace and hands the aircraft off to Albuquerque Center. The aircraft enters the first sector in Albuquerque Center's airspace, and the pilot talks to the Albuquerque Center controller and receives permission to climb to 37,000 feet. The flight continues through into Denver Center, and three Denver Center sector controllers guide the aircraft through their airspace eventually handing the aircraft off to the controller in the first Kansas City Sector Center. As the pilot flies through Kansas City Center, you're handed off to different controllers there. In the last Kansas City Center, the controller hands the pilot off to the first Indianapolis Center controller in the first Indianapolis Center Sector. Again, the flight proceeds through Indianapolis Center and gets handed off to Cleveland Center. As approaching the destination, the Cleveland Center controllers give the flight descents as they finally coordinate the handoff to Washington Center controller. The Washington Center controller lines the aircraft up for approach and has the pilot contact approach control. The controller at Washington Metropolitan Area Approach Control, Potomac Tracon, takes control and clears the pilot to approach Baltimore Washington Airport. Local controllers at the Baltimore Washington Airport and the tower clear the flight for landing. The flight is then handed off to the ground controller at Baltimore Washington International Airport and is cleared to taxi to the gate. During the five hours and ten minutes of the flight, the pilot talked to 28 controllers in 11 different facilities, most of whom looked at your aircraft on a computer screen hundreds of miles from your current location. Thanks for watching.